guess what? Guess what, everyone? Guess what I found? In this most holy week, I found a stripper. Well, I found a stripper in the story of the arrest of Jesus. And it comes from, from Mark chapter 14, verse 51 to 52. And it's the story of a young man that was following closely behind Jesus when he was arrested. And when he was arrested, the guards grabbed him. And when they grabbed him, the young man wiggled out of his clothes and ran free. And I guess the guards were shocked because they couldn't catch him. But God often uses pressure situations. And when the heat is turned up, to strip away non-essential stuff from us and allow us to move forward. Let me give you another example of it. The story of Joseph. When Potiphar's wife grabbed the whole of Joseph's cloak, Joseph left the cloak with her and ran away, ran out of the house. And why was this important? Because the cloak belonged to who? Guess who bought it? Who bought it? His master, because Joseph was a slave. So technically, the coat that, that Potiphar's wife grabbed belonged to her. So he left what belonged to her, and he kept what belonged to him. He kept his integrity, and he kept his right relationship with his God, and he left her with her clothes. And so it's important this season to allow your, your, your mobility to not be hampered by things that are not essential. Your, your ability to move forward, your ability to move up, your ability to move deeper in your relationship with God. Let it not be hampered with things that are not essential. And essential is a, a key word these days. Only essential workers are allowed to move around. Only buy what's essential from the food store. Only make essential purchases. Essential is important in these days and times. So allow the essential thing. Now, now, now I gave you two stories. Let me give you a third one just for a bonus. When the three Hebrew boys were throwing the fire that was heat several times harder. They were throwing and they're all tied up and all bound. But the God used the heat to set them free. And not only set them free, he allowed them to be able to walk around. And, and he didn't just allow them to walk around by themselves, but he came in the fire with them. So God is going to allow it, even the pressure and the, the, the hot situations. He's going to allow them to happen, but he's going to be in there with you. And allowing them to allow you to be able to move around and to move freely. So anytime you feel like you are way down or burdened down, check your priorities. Check what's essential and what's not essential. Cut some non-essential things and allow your life and your relationship with God to move forward.